This year I was diagnosed um, in February of 2009. So I thought, I'm not joining support groups. I'm not making my life about breast cancer. I'm serving my sentence. I'm going to chemo, radiation, and then I'm done with breast cancer. I don't want to hear about it again. I'm done with it. Everybody thinks you're better, you know? Everybody's like, oh, you did it. You're, you're over the, you know, the rough part. And, you know, everything's fine now. Uh, everything's so far from fine. Like, what in God's name do you do after breast cancer? I mean, you know, it's not, it's not like you bounce back and you're like, okay, done, see you later. It, it just doesn't work that way, which I thought was gonna be the case. So now I'm definitely looking into more support groups and looking forward to it because I need to make friends that have been through this because you know, as much as my friends will listen and be there for me, they can't in a million years understand. Having to go through it, you know, pretty much on my own, it was a big eye-opener to me with my husband, so I decided that I wasn't going to stay around for the rest of my life and wait to get old and depend on him. <laughs> so I moved back in with my parents, and I have a 17-year-old son. So moving back in with my parents and my 17-year-old son has been <laughs> just about as hard as breast cancer. <laughs> yeah, I guess it made her stronger, but I think we've gone through a lot of stuff where, I mean, it can't. She's, she can handle it. <laughs> she can handle anything. He's been great. I mean, I, I, I'm just thankful that he, you know, was there for me through the whole thing, and I'm glad that he was resilient enough to take the part of the beat down I took over the last year, and I'm sorry that he had to go through it. And like I told him when we got this opportunity, it was, it was a light at the end of the tunnel, like, actually good things are going to start to happen because it was just one bad thing after another the past year and this has been something great and something new and i'm hoping that this is the start of many new things